Hope everyone's having a great day. This is Jay from Jay and D's Retirement Journey. Please hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to 100 subscribers by the end of the year. It'll really help out the channel. And again, it's totally free. And don't forget to hit that like, uh, thumbs up button, and the bell notification. Thanks again for watching the video. Hope everyone's having a great day. Um, Today we're going to compare the Charles Schwab S&P 500 index, SWPPX, to the Vanguard S&P 500 index, VU. VU is very popular. Everyone knows that one. Let's see uh, which is better. Before you invest in anything, talk with your financial planner. I am not a financial planner. Do your research. And let's dig in into the summary here. The uh, Schwab S&P 500 index, it's a mutual fund. It's open. Total assets, $67 billion. Inception date, uh, 1997. It's been around, I guess, 26 years. The investment seeks to track the total return of the S&P 500 index. The fund generally invests at least 80% of its assets in these stocks. You guys could keep reading there. Let me shoot over to VU. Vanguard S&P 500 EFT. It's an EFT, not a mutual fund. It uh, has $822 billion. It's a lot bigger than the Schwab fund. The investment seeks to track the performance of the Standard & Poor's 500 Index that measures the investment return of large cap stocks. The fund employs an indexing investment approach designed to track the performance of the S&P 500 Index. So th that's uh, the quick summary there of uh, both these uh, funds. Fees and expenses. They both have very low fees. Um, the Schwab fund is 0.02 and VU is 0.03. So they, they win by uh, a tiny bit there. The quotes, last uh, close as of 6.15, the Schwab fund was uh, $67 and VU was 407 Quite a big difference there. The 52-week range on the Schwab fund was 55 to 68 and VU was uh, 319 to 407 the distribution yield, my uh, favorite part. It's uh, 1.52 for Schwab and VU is at 1.58. The only difference is Schwab is annually and they are quarterly. Since VU pays a quarterly dividend, which is great for compounding, I just wanted to take a quick look and compare them, basically apples to apples. If you had a 100 shares of VU, it would cost you a uh, almost $41,000 and the yearly income was five ninety five. dollars If you take Schwab, uh, the value would be $6,800 for 100 shares and it would be $98.05. So what I did is I took the value of 100 shares of VU and I divided it by uh, the Schwab cost and that came up with five ninety five. dollars And the yearly dividend, if you multiply that by the yearly... Um, dividend of Schwab and the shares there, it works out about to the same, $11 less, but the only difference is you you get to uh, compound the, uh, the dividend quarterly, and this is paid yearly. So it might be a little more at the end of the year, dividend-wise, to share-wise, if you're doing that dividend snowball. I did uh, make a video on the Schwab uh, S&P 500 index fund. I'm going to leave a link to it. And please, guys, remember to subscribe. That will really help out the channel. Let's take a quick look at the risk and returns. Standard deviations, the comparison there. The initial minimums, are, they're the same, basically. A dollar for, for the EFT, they, you have to buy it by the share. My, uh, Schwab doesn't allow you to, uh, to buy fractional shares on the EFT. I've tried. Um, all this information is right off the Charles Schwab website. You could probably compare this in any brokerage. They have comparison tools, so you could compare these two. Morningstar rating for the for these funds, they're basically identical. The only difference I see here is historic return. VU says high, and uh, the uh, Schwab funds is above average. But if you look at the next charts, 10 years, they look identical to me. 
the 10 year return here. So uh, they're about the same in my opinion. Let's take a quick look at the portfolio for both these funds. Total assets, like I say, VU is way bigger, uh, 822 billion compared to 67. Have about the same number of uh, total holdings, same uh, turnover. Everything is pretty much the same. The top 10% of assets, 27 and change. On the bottom, uh, you could see uh, the asset allocation. Now we go into the top 10 holdings. They're basically the same. It's a, a, they're both S&P funds. So they're pretty much identical right down the list here. And as we shoot over to the sector waiting, same deal, pretty much all the same right down the list here. Market cap right down the list, giant 48, large 35, 35. Nothing's changed. They're, they're pretty much identical. In summary, I like both funds, but I do own the Schwab fund um, just because it, it's uh, it's a lot cheaper to own. Sixty six dollars in, instead of four oh six. Plus, you could you do fractional shares. Uh, they don't allow you to do fractional shares on the EFT. So that's why I like it. And it's been good to me over six years. I'm up, I believe, 57 percent. Again, check out the video. I'm going to leave a link. Uh, I did a, a just a video on that fund. Thanks so much for watching, guys. And remember, hit that subscribe button, that, that thumbs up button, and that bell notification. Thanks again.